Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I want to share with you an idea for solitaire. This is going to be for Hong Kong style, using Hong Kong old style scoring. This will be a way for you to play four hands at one time to practice decision making during a game. Let me show you how I think it should work. I have all my tiles out. They've been mixed. I have dice and the wind of the round indicator. We'll go ahead and start with east round. And I am going to deal out four hands. And I'm going to place them side by side, two, two hands each side by side. So one of these hands will be the dealer. So there's four, four, six. So there's the dealer's hand. Actually, let's put the dealer's hand over here and we're gonna mark it with a one. Okay, I'm gonna turn it up though so I can see it as the player. So there's the dealer's hand right here. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know if this is gonna be good, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so then I'm gonna create south round. So I'm gonna put a dice up next to these two. And this is gonna be two, four, 13 tiles. And then west round, or west seat, I should say. Okay, so I'll put up a three for that one. So there's a three. And north. So here's a four. Okay, seat one, seat two, seat three, seat four. All right, now, this is east round. I'm gonna roll the dice to see which player I'm going to be. I rolled a five, so I'm going to be east. So I will take these dice and add them to the dice for that seat. So that indicates which player I am. This is my particular hand. So we have player two, player three, player four. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at my tiles here. I got a flower and I'm just gonna put my exposures in front of each hand. So south will have their hand here, west will have their hand here, north will have their hand here, and that way they'll all fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my, wind, my flower out and take a random ex, uh, exchange and I'll create my hand. Basically, whatever it is I want to do. Okay. Now, the challenge here is going to be for you to see what I'm doing. Let's see. I think maybe I'll pull the camera back. Okay. Okay. So there's, there's East's hand, okay? So for East's hand, I have two pair and I have equal number BAMS cracks and I have one less dot, or I'm sorry, BAMS dots and cracks. So that's gonna be a rough hand to play. I think probably I would end up trying for a half flush. I would get rid of all these first. If I pair up, then I'll play it all pung. I'll just hold these threes for as long as possible. So now let's look at south hand, South's hand. Okay, South got a flower, so I'm gonna put that right here and then take a random replacement and let's see what they might play. Oh, 
Okay. So for this one, they do have mostly bams and two wins. Their exposure here though is a flower, a one flower, that's not their flower. So that's not going to give score. So for this one, I would throw away the five first, five crack because they could potentially, and, and then the five dot, because they could potentially do all chows because they have a potential chow here, potential chow here, there's a potential chow, there's a potential chow, there's a chow all in of itself, and then there's a potential chow here. So I'd say probably all chow, we'll start by throwing those. Let's look at West's hand now. So West has a two flower, so I'm going to put that out and take a replacement and let's see what they have here. They do have a pair of white dragons. That's kind of nice. Oh my gosh, they have a pair of Souths also. Now that's not their wind, but it will help them get to a half flush. They also have a pair of seven dots. So I would go for half flush. They only have four discards. Potential chow, potential chow, pung, pung, pair. So half flesh for west. Okay, now let's look at north. North has a lot of honors. North, east, west, green, and red. And they have a lot of dots, so I would say a half flesh for north. They don't have any, any multiples, no pairs. So they have three discards though to clear to a half flush. Okay, we're ready to start. Everybody has their hand um, planned out. Flowers have been exchanged. So it's going to be East turn. East discards to get the game started. So I will throw a two dot and just put it out randomly out in the middle. So now it's South's turn. So South does not want a two dot, nor does anybody else. So we're gonna draw an eight bam. That's nice. Working towards that half flush. Let's throw the five crack. Now it's West's turn. Nobody can call that five crack, so I'm gonna draw for West. Let's put the tile on top, like so so we get, don't get confused to whose turn it is. So we're gonna keep that and discard a seven crack. Uh, nobody can take the seven crack, so it's now North's turn. They do a one crack, which is not part of their plan. They're going for half flush. So we'll just go ahead and discard a seven crack since it's already been thrown. And we'll put that out there. Okay, seven crack. Now it's East's turn. Seven crack, same tile, south, five dot. Okay, there's another potential pung. So I would hold that for as long as possible for a potential all pung and discard, yeah, one crack. Nobody can take a one crack, so we'll draw. Three crack, nobody needs a three crack West doesn't even need that. So we'll throw three crack, and now it's North's turn. Nine bam. Oh, they drew in a, a pair. So let's hold on to the pair. Since a one crack was thrown, let's go ahead and throw that. Nobody can take a one crack, so it's East's turn. Eight dot, not helpful. We'll throw the eight dot. Nobody can call the eight dot. Uh, yeah, no pairs are available here. Now, over here for West, there is a 6-7, but this player, West, can only take a chow tile from South. So they can't claim that 8 dot. So it is now South's turn. They drew a 7 dot, another pair. I think this player should switch to all pung. There's one, two, three pair. They need one more pair 
to get ready. So they're on high alert at this point. So let's throw a two crack. Nobody can call a two crack, so it's West turn. Five bam. So they're not playing bams. They're gonna go ahead and throw it. Five bam. Now it's North's turn. They threw a, uh, drew a three dot. Okay, three dot is heading more towards a half flush. Let's get rid of this two bam that's doing no good. It's isolated. So two bam. Nobody can call two bam. There are no pairs available for a, a potential pung. So now it's east turn. Four dot. Not helpful here. So we'll throw a four dot. And nobody can claim a four dot from east. There are some potential chows for north, but north can only take a chow from west. So it is now south's turn. Okay, now we're heading to a decision because we have one, two, three, four pair for all potential pungs or an all pair hand. And also they could even switch to a half flush. I probably would stick with the potential all pung. This eight is isolated. Let's throw that eight dot. Now south through the eight dot. This player here has a six seven. Let's chow it. So I'm going to put out my chow tiles, grab the eight dot, and we'll discard an eight bam for south. Eight bam. South has an eight. We're going to pung it. So I will put the pung tiles here, take the discard, and now this player is committing to, at this point, all pung. Let's get rid of the east. Nobody's paired up for east, so it's west turn. We drew a nine dot, which is perfect, because now there's a chow. We'll throw a three bam. No pairs for three bam, so nobody can take that. It is now north's turn. They drew an east, which is a good pair. There's only one east out, so that's a good potential. I would hold it, and now I would sacrifice the nine bams. Nine bam. Nobody can take a nine bam. It's east turn. Flower. So now east has two flowers, one and two. We'll take a random tile. They drew a two dot, not helpful. So I'm gonna discard that. Two dot. Let's see, four, four, five, okay. Four, four, hmm. okay. Two dot, nobody can take a two dot. So we're gonna go for south, draw, five, bam. Wow, that's perfect. Now there's a decision that has to be made because we're in between all pung and half flesh. Either way, it's the same score. I'll stick with the all pung. Let's get rid of the north. Nobody can claim a north, so it's west turn. They drew a three bam. Not helpful, because they're in dots and honors, so three bam. Nobody can claim a three bam, so now it is north's turn. They drew a one dot. That's a keeper because they're going for a half flush. So we'll throw this nine bam. Nobody can claim a nine bam. So now it is east turn. Now north is cleared to one suit with honors. They have all dots and honors. Okay, there's a nine dot pair. Now this player here is at a decision point well, really, there are lots of discards here, so let's just get rid of those. They don't have to make a choice yet. Five crack. There's already a five crack out. So there's two more discards here off suit. The cracks are not useful. So they really don't have to make a decision until those are gone. There's two pair here that could potentially be pungs, as with the, the red dragon. But there are some potential chow tiles here. I think probably east should go for an all pung hand, but they are behind the eight ball. They need more pairs in order to make this work. So they've got to do some drawing in order to win here. All right, now we threw a five crack, so it's south's turn at this point. Six crack, off suit. 
discard six crack. Nobody can claim it. We'll draw for west. They drew a nine crack, offsuit, discard. Draw for north, one crack. Nobody's playing cracks, one crack. So now east turn, south. South is a potential keeper, but if we're switching to all pung, hmm, I think what I would do here is switch to half flush, save the all, um, all pung option as a plan B, and then hold on to the south because it could help get to a half flush. Let's get rid of these because they're still off suit and no help for crack. So now it's South's turn. They threw, drew a three dot, which is not a keeper. So we're going to discard a three dot. This player has a three dot, pair of three dots. We're going to pung it. So I'll put that there, claim the three dot, discard my three crack. Now it's South's turn. They drew a four dot, not a helper. We're looking for pairing up or punging. So we'll throw a four dot. And nobody can claim a four dot, so we'll draw four west. They threw, drew a three bam, not a help, helpful tile, so we'll throw that. It's north's turn, they drew a six dot, awesome. So now they have to make a decision here. We have a pair of ones, two, three, four, five six six north east west let's see there's one north out i think i would probably go ahead and throw the north because there's already one out so north nobody can claim the north so we'll draw for east we kept our uh, drew an east so let's throw let's see here there's a five bam out. Let's throw a five bam and draw four. Oh, five bam. Okay, now there's already a chow here, so and they're going for all pung, so that's not gonna work be helpful for south. So let's draw for south. Flower. That's a four flower, so that's not gonna be helpful. We'll take a replacement tile here, another flower, take another replacement. One crack, not a keeper. Now it's south or west turn. Not a keeper, five crack. North's turn, two crack, not a keeper. East turn, they drew a west. Let's keep getting rid of these off suit tiles. There's a four bam, out the door. Nobody can claim a four bam, so it's south's turn, eight crack discard. West turn. White dragon. How nice. Now we're going to throw this one bam and west is now cleared to one suit with honors. So they have a chow here. Hopefully they can pung the south. So this north should be the next discard most likely. And they're sitting here with a risky tile, that red. So now it's north's turn. Nine crack. Nobody wants cracks. Now it's East turn. Oops, four crack. Nobody wants cracks. Now it's South, two crack. West, three crack. North, one bam. That was just thrown a minute ago. Nobody wants that. East, West, we got a keeper, okay. So we'll get rid of the off suit at this point. Seven bam. Over here, seven bam. Pung. So now we'll discard. There's three three bams out. Perfect discard. Three bam. Now it's West turn. Six crack. Nobody wants that. North. Green dragon. How lovely. Okay, so we have to make a decision at this point. It's either gonna be the red or the west. 
we have a pair of one dots, two, three, four. Here's a pair of sixes that could become a pung potentially, and a five, six that could potentially become a chow. So I would hold all those. It's either gonna be the west or the red. Let's go ahead and throw the red get it out as soon as possible because obviously you have to play like you don't know what's in each of these hands if i were this player i would want to get rid of that red as soon as possible um, and even the west next so that would be the discard and east is going to claim it for a pung and discard nine bam now east has a scary tile a green dragon so that's probably going to go next and it is south's turn they drew a white dragon, which is not helpful. We're gonna discard a white dragon. Now, this player, player West, can claim that. If you are playing in a game that provides an automatic payout for Kongs, I would take it. If there is no automatic payout for a Kong, I would hold it. Why expose your Kong? For an extra tile you're going to draw next anyway so i am just going to pass it we've got a pung handled and that's really all we need i don't want to expose my hand and give away information so i'm going to pass on it uh yeah for hong kong old style you don't get extra score for kongs unless there's an automatic payout so two bam discard now it's North's turn. They drew a four dot, which may, yep, that's a good keeper, actually. They have a pair of ones, two, three, four, four, five, six. That six dot could be a, a um, discard maybe next. Let's throw away the west. West. East has a west. We're going to pung it and discard all right now we have all scary tiles here so how what is out there are no greens out there are no east out and there are no south out so all of those are scary tiles somebody's going to take it so let's just go ahead and throw the green and of course north has the green so north will pung we'll put that in front of north and they will take that green and discard the six dots now they are, let's see here, they need to pung that east. They're ready to win on either a one dot or an east because they have one pung here, chow, chow. All they need to do is get another set, either the one dot or the east, and they've won. So now it is east turn and east is also oh one away because they have a potential pung and then they've got two isolated tiles here so let's draw one dot and that's all of these are equally risky there are no one dots out there are no east out and there are no south out i would probably throw the one dot you just got to play honestly and isol or not isol compartmentalize your decision making. Play specifically for the hand that is in the in the current drawing position, and play as if you do not know what is in all of these hands. Otherwise, it's going to skew the outcome. So I would not know that they were ready on a one dot. I would throw that if I were making decisions strictly on this hand. So E or North just won Mahjong. So they won. I'm going to turn uh, all these tiles down at this point so we can focus on the winning hand right here. Seat four. Let's see here. Yeah, the one dot. So their winning hand was green drag a pung of green dragons let's see if you can see that in here okay pung of green dragons pung of one dot chow chow pair half flush half flush is three fawn and then a dragon pung is a fawn so this is a four fawn hand they are seat four north 
it is east round. They did not pung that east there, so they don't get score for that. So they ended up with a four fawn hand. That's how I would recommend playing solitaire. And this would work for any Cantonese style version. Let me know what you think about it. Write it in the comment section. If you have any suggestions to improve this concept, write it down. Let's work it out together. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. If you have subscribed, click that bell so you get notification of when I post new videos. I wouldn't want you to miss on any of these exercises that can help improve your decision making and give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Hong Kong Mahjong Solitaire. May all your picks be keepers.